Hey guys, Lin here. Welcome back to another Fallout 4 console mod video for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Today we're going to be taking a look at the decoration and furniture expansion pack. You can see it right here in the mod menu. And it's a really, really cool mod and I'm going to read out the description to you. It currently adds 200 new items to the workshop, pre-war, institute, vault, plants and new resources, etc. More items added daily. All items have been made unique to this mod, so they should be compatible with all the other mods, and all for less than one megabyte of space. You can see there it's only 131 kilobytes. So I'm going to showcase this mod in the kind of no grass area of the cheat room, and I'm not kidding guys, it adds in so much cool stuff, it's going to completely change the way that you build your settlements from now on. So let's get straight into the actual game. Okay guys, so you can see I have laid out every single new item on the ground here, and I've separated them into different sections. I'm not sure if there actually is 200, I haven't counted, but we're going to look through every single section here. And you can see there's a lot of cool stuff, even trees, <laughs> that if you don't want to use the uh, green and the commonwealth mod, then you can plant your own trees. So it's really, really cool. So we're just going to get started, we've got a lot to get through, and you can see all of the new things. We're going to start right here, which obviously is beds, and I'm going to get out of the workshop menu so you can see the name of each of these. The only thing that I have wrong with this is if you go to... The menu, you can see that the uh, the new items are actually invisible, like in the menu. But you can still place them down and stuff, so it's a little bug. It doesn't really make too much of a difference to your actual game. And also, when I installed this mod, for some reason my uh, structures tab disappeared. And I had to uh, reload an old save. But I did install loads of different mods at the same time, so I can't be sure if it was specifically this mod. But I don't want to get rid of it and try again to test it because uh, it took me ages to figure out how to uh, get a structured tab back. So anyway, we'll just get started and let's get straight into this. We have here, Institute Child Bed, Institute Med Bay, Institute Bed, and Institute Double Bed, Institute Bed. And over here we have a pre-war double bed, a sleeping bag. I'm not sure if that's the uh, a different one, but I put it down anyway. We have a vault bed. We have the vault bunk beds, vault child's bed, and the vault child's bunk bed. So that is the bed category, okay? If we go, uh, I think we'll go down this one. This is tables, okay? So end table. We have floral plant table. It kind of looks like the fish rack from the uh, from the Far Harbor DLC. We have institute cabinet, institute cafe counter, the institute cafe counter, a second one. A sh uh, cafe side table and a cafe table. So these are all things that you find in the Institute kind of link in the uh, cafeteria area. So if you've been to the Institute, you'll remember that. Cafe table Institute, a uh, bigger cafe table. We have the Commonwealth map table. This is really cool. We have the island platform. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's just a big table. We have a seed bay table and you actually need plants to actually build this. So they're cool. If you want to build some kind of lab, this will all come really handy. We have a different shaped institute table, a uh, different shaped institute table, a picnic like table here from the vault, a metal cart, and we have a cupboard right there. Okay, so that is the tables section. We've done tables and beds, and I'm just kind of uh, going to go through these in the order that I actually put them down. So I think this category here is all the way along to miscellaneous. Okay, so miscellaneous under furniture. Uh, we have the flatbed cart, a garage diagnostic cart, we have a floral planter, we have a different one that's a different shape, and down here we have again a different one that's a different shape, and a fourth one and a fifth one, they are just kind of different shapes. I take it you can plant things in the mud in these. The only problem is though, which you will see when we get to the plants area, that for some reason all of the plants have been replaced with ones already in planters so there are actually no plants to plant down so <laughs> i don't know if you can get them back pre-war fireplace and um, right here we have what's this a hollow tape stereo we have the pre-war oven pre-war refrigerator body we have a shower unit so you can actually place it in shower we have the sink unit and i take it these are like the ones that are in your house at the very start we have a toilet, the pre-war television, same one but off, a vault toilet, a vault crate. We have a different vault crate that's white, 
Actually, we turn that around so you can see a bit better. Property of Bolt Tech. And we have this large crate here. So that is all of the things from under furniture and miscellaneous. Here we have different floor coverings. So this is all under decorations and floor coverings, okay? We have a floor mat. We have a bigger floor mat. And we have an even bigger one. We have this kind of a L-shaped one. You could play a game of Tetris with all these. We have this kind of one with some squares missing in it. And again, a different one with squares missing in it. We have Institute floor mat. A rounded institute format, circle institute format, and two more square and a rectangle institute format. And we have two brand new rugs. I think that's the one that's in your son's bedroom at the start of the game. And I'm not sure where this one's from. Most likely inside your living room. So pre-war rug and the child's pre-war rug. Okay, so that is everything under floor coverings. Next along, if we go to wall decorations, we get a whole brand new category called flags. So we could take a look at these. You get big ones, you get small ones. We have the USA flag. We have the railroad flag. You can't really see it too well. You get the Institute flagpole. We have Brotherhood flag, the Minutemen flag, and a different USA flag. And then you get the same, but all in the uh, really, really tall ones, okay? So next up, we have this category here, which is under decorations and miscellaneous, okay? So we will start from the back here. We have a floor jack. We have these two different tool racks. There's two different ones, but they uh, they look identical. So I think it's just a mistake that there's two. We have a minute work sign. We have an IV bag stand and we have a microphone. Over here, we have a standing terminal. The food paste machine, which I think is what you find in the uh, Institute, like in the cafeteria. You have a dog house and I can't remember if this is new or whether that's already there. I think it's new. And then we have here, the table is a part of this, but everything on the table is under this category. So you have all the different Nuka-Colas, you have all of the different Pip-Boys, and or the Bobble Heads rather, and you have all of these models for different robots. So Mix-Up Model, Sentry, we have Mr. Handy there, and what's this one? We have Gutsy, and we have the iBot. Okay, and finally we have this lunchbox. So you've got all those things that you could place down, which will come in handy if you try to fill up things like shelves and stuff. Here we have the uh, Institute Food Synthesizer. We have the Epitaph, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. We have a dome cover, and also underneath it, you get the dome base. So you could place things inside there. We have Institute Control Panel, the second Institute Control Panel, um, an Institute Canister, the Institute Cafe Dispenser, and we have, what's this? Institute Microscope. We have a sneeze guard and a second sneeze guard. So again, you can, a lot of stuff you could build a cafeteria here. And finally, we have the Institute Monitor Bank. Okay, so obviously that needs to be hung from the roof. Now over here, we have all the new plants. So this is gonna come out really cool and it's gonna definitely change the way that you see kind of settlements, you know, especially if you're not using any mods to add in trees and stuff. You can just pl place down your own ones. So we have this elm tree, which is really tall. The one thing that I don't like about this uh, area, which is the the grass area from the cheat room, is that mods, well, some of the mods don't seem to work here. I have disabled god rays and stuff, but they're still on, as you can see. We have, what's this, some kind of maple tree? So a small maple tree. We have a different maple tree and I take it it's going to be that's just the same one as that here we have a different shaped elm one and we have a giant elm one this one's huge and here we have some holly shrubs so that's all the things under um, plants but they're also under they're under decorations miscellaneous here is all of the things that are under if we go along they're under resources and food Okay, so as before, you had things that you could plant in the ground. Now everything seems to be in planters as part of this mod, I believe. So we have the gourd planter, corn, carrot, that's mutt fruit. We have this here, which I can't remember, melon, and the tail planter. And we have a hub flower here. So you can't place down plants individually. You have to place them down as part of this. I guess if you're out in the... Uh, 
the Commonwealth, you could find plants and plant them that way, but you can't find them in the build menu. All right. Um, and I think that just leaves us with two different sections. So we'll go with this one first. We'll start at the back. We've got Institute Desk. Actually, guys, I'm going to quickly delete these trees so we can see better. We'll just delete the, this one here. Is that? Yeah, that's better. So we have the Institute Desk. We have the Office Cabinet. Cash Register. We have loads of different filing cabinets. A big and a large big and a large, a big and a small orange one, and a big and a small blue one. We have Institute Locker, and Pre-War Dresser, a taller Pre-War Dresser, the Pre-War Dresser Small, and a Pre-War Dresser, just the different colors. We have a Trash Can, we have the Pre-War Ammo Box, Pre-War Desk, different Pre-War Desk, and a Pre-War Duffel Bag, and we have a different Pre-War Desk. We have around here, pre-war wet bar, pre-war refrigerator, and it's new, unlike the other one, which had no door. We have the pre-war newsstand, which is a little beaten up, pre-war locker, pre-war file cabinet, pre-war dryer, pre-war first aid kit, changing table, pre-war dresser, and on top we have two different ammo boxes and the med kit box there, all pre-war. Here we have two vault shelves, and here we have vault dresser, and then we have loads of different vault trunks here. So we've got Vault 95, Vault 81. We have a pre-war Vault 81 one, Vault 75, Vault 11, Vault 111. Okay, so those trunks, I think you can put stuff in them. Yeah, you can. Okay, so they're just, you can use them for storage. And our final area here is all of these chairs. Okay, so these are under furniture and chairs. We have the Institute chair, Institute cafe chair, the Institute bench, we have this institute bench here, I really like these. We have a different institute bench. I'm not sure, but I believe you can plant things in there. I don't have any plants on me, but it'd be cool if you could. We have a vault bench, pre-war red footstool. We have pre-war red couch, pre-war red chair, pre-war desk chair, institute stool, institute office chair, and the institute executive chair. And that's them all. So guys, that is everything that you get as part of this um, expanded furniture mod. As you can see, there is so, so much stuff. And according to the mod, it says it's adding stuff all of the time. Although for some reason at the top, it says don't update. But I will figure out that at some point why it says that. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I want to thank everyone who watched to the end. I really appreciate the support. And don't forget to download this mod and try it out for yourself. It's definitely going to add in some really, really cool stuff for you to build in your settlement. And I don't think there's any other mods adding this much stuff for you to build. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. So I will see you all next time for more mod showcase videos. See you then, guys.